Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to day 15 of the PrestaShop 101 series. Today we're going to talk about Multistore and this is likely the most wanted feature that people requested for PrestaShop and it's also what makes the big difference between 1.4's architecture and 1.5's. So, to be sure, it simply allows you to manage any number of different shops from within a single admin interface. And this means uh, you can have, say, myshop.com slash general and myshop.com slash paths. And they would be two different stores selling uh, completely different things. But this also means that you can have, um, for example, mycoolstore.com and mysupercoolstore.com managed from within the very same back office. So let's get started. Uh, for this example, I will use a local environment, but um, I will also explain how to achieve the, uh, the multi-domain uh, result, which is uh, a bit more trickier. First of all, the multi-store feature needs to be enabled. So we already saw where the switch is located in the last one-on-one -on -one series day, and it's in preferences general. So, enable, enable multi-store, yes, and I will save. Now, I will go to advanced parameters, and you can see multi-store here. So, a bunch of things here. First of all, uh, there, is, there are not just uh, shops. There are shops and shop groups. Um, what shop groups are useful for is sharing um, some kind of data between all the shops belonging to the same group. So uh, let me show you, for example, I will add new shop group, though I will not save it. You can choose the name and then you can choose what you want to share uh, uh, for the, um, the shops contained uh, belonging to this uh, shop group. So you can share customers, you can share, share uh, available quantities for products, you can share orders, and of course you can turn uh, or on or off the status uh, of this, uh, this group. But be aware that as this warning tells you, um, if you turn on share customers and share orders, you will not be able to turn this off. So just be sure of what you're doing once you set up a shop group. So I will not save this now since uh, we won't need this for this example, but I will add a new store. So uh, first of all, let's take a look at the properties of store. I will go into the group and you can see we have one main shop so I can edit it and you can see you have a, a bunch of options you can choose the theme you can choose uh, the categories associated with it you can change the root category and of course the group shop and name um, we will not need to edit this one so I will go back and I will now add a new shop so I will call it shop 2 group shop defaults okay I will use the very same root category but bear in mind that you can create another uh, root category as explained in uh, in the lesson about categories um, and of course in that way you can use totally different catalogs uh, for each store and then you can choose the associated categories I will uh, just leave for example uh, Apple products be aware that uh, the root category must be turned on and I will choose a theme. Um, let's choose the default one. Uh, I'm using the default full page I created a while ago uh, for the other one. Next, uh, import data. Mm, I want to import every uh, every one of these fields for the time being, but of course, if you're creating a new uh, shop totally from scratch, you can avoid this step. So I will save and okay. So uh, you can see it says, Click here to set a URL for this shop because the shop has been created but uh, no URL has been assigned to it yet so this means it's not reachable. Let's, uh, let's create some kind of subtle difference between the URLs. 
So URL options, of course, it's shop. It's for shop too. Uh, we will set the main URL because you can set a multiple if you're uh, willing to use many domains for your shop, for example. And I will use now. Uh, I will uh, edit this shop URL options. Now, um, as I said before, you can tweak them um, to achieve a multi-domain, multi-store. In this example, I will use a, a single domain store, which is my local host. Uh, but shortly, I will be explaining how to achieve the multi-domain result too. So uh, I will leave the same, the same domain and SSL domain as my previous store. Uh, the physical URL uh, means where your shop's files are physically located. This requires you to add the very same spot where the other shops or main shops files are located. In this case, it's Presta 101 in my local host. Now, uh, since I want to have two different URLs, I will set up another one for this. So I will call it shop2, for example. And you can have uh, a snippet of the final of the look, the final URL I will have uh, when you save it. And I'm pretty much satisfied with this, so I will go ahead and save. Now, uh, I want to uh, differentiate the two, so um, I will add, say, shop1 uh, to uh, this URL. So I will. I will click here. Oops, for doing this, uh, I want to go to the shop list. One on one series, you can see there is a URL here, and I want to edit it to shop one. Of course, of course, this is not uh, necessary, especially if you're setting up um, a multi-domain store. I'm just doing this for demonstrating demonstrating purposes. So I will save. Now I believe my store is still turned off. Yes. Okay, so uh, now we have our stores set up. So, say um, we want to change a bunch of options. I am changing the multi store configuration for 101 series shop one. So, uh, with, uh, from this uh, select drop down, you can change, um, you can select which shops options you're currently editing. And you will see this on every page, uh, basically. So I'm changing options for 101 series. And in this case, I want to set a custom value for enable shop so that we're only enabling this shop and I'll save. Now, if I go quick access my shop, let's wait for a page to load and here it is. So this is shop one, 101 series. And it has our uh, full width broken <laughs> uh, layout. Uh, but this is our shop one. Let's see what happens if I type shop two. Whoops, the shop is not turned on. And this is because we decided to turn uh, just our main shop on. So I will, I will now uh, go shop two and I will turn this on too. So say, and there, <clears throat> geez, <laughs> and there you can see our shop two is now active. So uh, let's let's see a, a bunch of uh, options. For example, uh, if I go to models, what do I have here? I have the tax block. Now I'm editing multi-store configuration for shop two. Uh, I don't want the uh, tax model, for example. Here. So tax block, I will uh, disable it. Go back to shop two, and it's gone. Now let's go to shop one. And you can see the tax blocks uh, block is here. So really easy to edit shop specific option from within. You can see the very same admin interface. Now I mentioned the multi-domain uh, store. <clears throat> so let's go back to multi-store and the URL. Oops. So uh, say shop two. Now, as I said, you can set up a different domain for your uh, second shop. But uh, this, as uh, for the uh, single domain, will require you to have the physical URL pointing exactly to the very same files the main store has. And in a multi-store, uh, multi-domain environment, 
This means you will have to park, uh, I hope you know what I'm talking about, you have to park the domain to your other um, space. So your uh, secondary URL domain uh, will have to point to the very same files of your first one. If you're not sure how to do this, uh, you can Google uh, Park a Domain or uh, something like that. And whether you're using cPanel, uh, Plask, or something else, um, you will receive precise, uh, hopefully, <laughs> precise instructions on how to do that. But basically, just be sure uh, physical URL for your second shop points to the very same files of the first the store, of the main store, of where this admin interface sits. And this way you will be able to manage all the domains uh, uh, stores from uh, within uh, one single back office. Okay, so I think this covers uh, basically everything uh, about multi-store. As always, if you have uh, other questions, uh, I know this might be a, a tricky topic to grasp, but uh, if you have other questions about this, please feel free to contact me at nemo at nemops.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.